Quincy here, and today we're going to take an Excel list of full names and split them so they read last name, comma, first, and we're going to use Microsoft Word to accomplish this. Now, admittedly, it's strange for me to use Microsoft Word to accomplish something that's an Excel problem, but given it's so difficult to recognize where the last name begins, all the different regional, colloquial, and even language-based issues, it's going to be easier for a word processor, given its special cater of tools, to accomplish this than a spreadsheet. First, we're going to select the list. I'm going to click on one of the cells, press Control A to select everything here, and then Control C to copy. And I'm going to navigate back into Microsoft Word where we've got our seating chart waiting for us. And I'm going to paste our content in here. It is important to mention that the paste has to be done as plain text because you don't want the table structure itself to complicate the issue. It's also important to mention that the last character of each line has to be defined by a paragraph mark. And that's going to be part of what we search for. Let me turn those back off again and back to the top of our document. I'm going to throw away this first title because it's not part of what we're doing. And now we'll select the information we're going to work on. And I'm pressing Control H to bring up the Advanced Find dialog box. On this, I need to press the More button because I need to make sure that I am using wildcards. It's the wildcard option that's going to create all the special functions that I can look for like expressions, more than one character, beginnings of words, not expressions. And that will help us define what we're looking for. Now, I could break down how it is that we're looking for things item by item. But since I've already done this a couple of times, I'm just going to very quickly, in the save time, put the expression in. I will. This expression is going to isolate the first part of the expression, which will be the first name, and then the second part of the expression up to the paragraph mark. And that's where I'm using the ASCII 13 because you're not allowed to use the, uh, others, any other symbols in your fine width screen. As for what we're replacing it with, we're going to replace it with the two expressions. I'll just borrow the special button here, find expression, or replace it with expression number two, comma, space, expression number one. And finish the whole thing off with, again, the paragraph mark. Put back the thing we found in the first place. That's our entire equation. Replace all. We found 50 replacements. Do I want to search the rest of the document? No. I can then close this. And there's our listing. Now ready to be taken, copied, and pasted back within Excel.